Okay, welcome back again, guys. This is Sampati watching Sampati FX YouTube channel, and this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro, and this is the Pixel 6 Sport from Rockney Android 12 version. As you can see, it's Android 12. As you can see, it's an Android 12 based ROM. It's Pixel 6 ported ROM and the kernel used here is 4.14.212 Azure Thieves Demons Plus kernel and is the latest build of this ROM and this supported ROM and you get November security patch which is good thing and I have just run the CPU throttling test I mean CPU benchmark test as you can see this is the result you get the maximum is 139 the average is 136 and minimum is 123 and there are few bugs also in this rom and how to flash everything will be explained in this rom if you're first time to this channel head down the subscribe down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's begin into the video and as i as you've seen the benchmark i mean cpu throttling test it was good enough but there are some problems and let me first explain how to flash this rom guys follow the instruction wipe those few partitions and flash the latest firmware i tried with older firmware there i had a problem that it can't boot into the rom it stuck at the boot loop and again i tried with another firmware that is the latest one the indian global stable one 12.5 update recently we received on redmi note 7 pro right that firmware i used then this was bootable but still it was bootable but still i have faced some of the problems in this rom the first thing is like um, it boots up itself i mean it's restart itself several times it has happened that what for it is happening i don't know but it's happening and this all the home screen settings and those all the bugs and how to flash properly you can try it out with different firmware but i have tested with that indian global stable 12.5 redmi note 7 pro update that firmware worked for me do note that guys and if you need and you need to be definitely flash that fdcrypt file at the end of uh, after rom flashing you need to flash that one and before that you need to flash the firmware that's it it's cool and dark theme also working fine as you can see and you get this wallpaper colors and basic colors and themed colors is still beta and there's a pixel 6 port a little bit newer let me adjust the brightness it's too bright okay it's now fine and cpu throttling test i shown and there is a pixel camera i mean some of the google camera is pre-installed i hope it is uh, as you can see it get crashed i hope it is like nikita g cam okay it gets crashed for some reason maybe working after few times okay you can flash any other gcam port something is wrong in that port and uh, coming to like drm info here you get wide one l1 certification which is really good for this rom and like my geo and even the google payments you can use let's see the safety and status whether it get passed or not yeah successfully it get passed you can use payment apps everything are working fine no problem in this room let's see dialer here weather and there's the volume panel as you can see you won't get any direct video call feature that's the bummer in this room in the previous portal rooms that was there but for some reason it's not there and let's call to this one and no audio recording feature also and one thing i noticed is like this google camera app you need to uninstall that they have mentioned in the instruction you need to flash manually i mean you need to install manually some other gcam ports that i have forget just seen that and that the instructions they have provided in this rom you need to follow these things and flashing guide i explained and let's move into some other things like geekbench scores the single score is 494 and the multi score is 1437 which is good the android 12 build and this is the kernel used it as showing as google pixel 6 and google photos also shows like 100 gb of limited storage it's also working fine no problem you can make it out it's not a big problem but the problem is like it restarts itself like every two hours or three hours once i don't know why it is happening 
I have flashed properly only okay if I flash like formatting data that might go I don't know but the problem is there in my ROM I mean in my smartphone after applying that pixels exported rockini ROM and all the things are working fine let's see as you can see this is how the recent apps you can get here and let's see the speed test okay i have like 100 mps plan with geogeco fiber it's pulling up to 90 to 95 which is good let's shift to and this is the android 12 thing you need to enable from here directly you won't enable here as you can see you need to turn on the mobile data and turn off the wi-fi like that you need to turn on direct toggle is not there it's not with this rom it's with every android 12 stock type roms as you can see it's pulling i don't get air any lte plus sometime i will get but still the speeds are okay in my okay it depends upon network guys definitely and uh, let's turn this on and turn this off as you can see it's take time and it's cool feature only but directly you can't turn on using a single toggle that's one thing i have noted and this is the launcher you get pixel latest launcher and let's see the wallpapers and widgets as usual you will get the android 12 widgets which is necessary and you will get as you can see you can modify even later also like this these widgets are cool and this is the quick settings panel everything is working fine but what is the point if smartphone reboots again and again what is the point of using this um, i don't understand but okay it's not a daily driver rom but definitely you can try it out if you need to use this it's smooth definitely it's smooth as you seen in the benchmark results also it's smooth and the battery life as you can see it's good you will get this battery saver options extreme battery saver and you can turn it on using scheduling time also you can do as you can see based upon your as you can see some of the features are based on percentage also it's there these things are given and working fine the battery life is also working fine you won't see any okay battery usage as you can see it's fine no problem in battery life but the problem is not consistency see in the rom that's what i can say it's not stable enough to use as a daily driver you can try to different roms are available for this redmi note 7 pro many are coming but you want to try you can try this pixel 6 port everything is working fine as you can see the fluidity is definitely there but that's what it is on torch light everything is working fine in this rom and even the reboot button is given here location power of restart those things are given let me see the accessibility menu in the settings accessibility menu okay it's working fine as you can see just you will get the toggle like this if you press that you can use this volume buttons without using this you can adjust as you can see even the brightness also you can adjust that's how it's cool feature having accessibility menu it's a cool feature and security settings i have not enabled any face unlock or anything like you won't get it out and there is a screen lock and fingerprint unlock let me set it out let's see and if you're liking this video give it a like guys it makes me motivation to make similar kind of videos and i'll be making similar kind of videos if you're still not subscribed subscribe it and let me check out the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's it taking a little bit of time as you can see i'll tap it takes a second this is how the pixel 6 ported from rockini for redmi note 7 pro if you like the video give it like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit down subscribe down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and i'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now